Mark Rober has released three versions of his Glitter Bomb, a package to punish thieves that steal packages by covering them in glitter and spraying a fart smell in their houses. Just like Apple releases a new iPhone every year, he makes an update to his design, although I don't think anyone's camping outside of an AT&T store to get this new product. I wanna talk about what features work well in the Glitter Bomb, what features are unsuccessful, does Mark Rober design a pleasant user experience, and who is he even designing this product for? My name is Jono, I'm a mechanical design engineer and product manager, and I work on consumer products. Let's get into it. Mark Rober puts a lot of work into punishing the Porsche Pirates, or in his own words, to go full home alone on these punks. To critique this product, we need to look at the target user. Uh, is it made for Mark? Is it made for the Porsche thieves? Is it made for the viewer like us? Well, let's get a little bit into the details. The reason Mark Rober makes a glitter bomb is because two million packages are reported stolen every year. He actually does say 97% of the people walk right by the packages as he's placed them out. And some people even call the number on the box to try and return the package. They actually give a cash reward to these people. But it's that 3% that really need to be taught a lesson about why you shouldn't steal packages from porches. The big new thing in version 3.0 is the top cover innovation. He has these rods that pop out from the package as you lift it up. And the only way to get the rod back in is using a magnet or flipping the box over. Now the reason this is important is because when the cover is off, the package is able to spray fart smell as well as capture better footage of the thief. But this rod is not helpful for the thief. It makes it harder to put the lid on. Uh, clearly this product is not designed for the porch thief who ends up with a bunch of glitter all over their house, uh, which is biodegradable by the way. And they're sprayed with fart smell combined with skunk essence. This is clearly aimed to cover the thieves in glitter and infuriate them, although in the footage there are a few people laughing in response. Another idea is that perhaps the product is designed for the porch volunteers. He sent boxes out to friends around the country so they could put these on their porches, and they even came up with this innovative doormat charging solution to make, to make the life of the volunteer even easier. There's a good quote from Bill Gates that applies here. He says, your most unhappy customers are your greatest source of learning. So looking at the footage, the spray was definitely effective. He really did piss a bunch of people off. You could see people covering their noses. There's success in infuriating the porch pirates. In addition to the aim of punishing thieves, they also wanted to retrieve the packages after they were used. Uh, each of these has four cell phones in it, as well as some custom circuitry so that they can capture the footage and send it back to themselves. The way these packages were retrieved ties into the durability of the product. Leveraging practices from user research, Mark Rober learns from his past experiences. With these two previous iterations, he saw what people do when a package sprays glitter on them and fart smells. Uh, they throw it out the window. <laughs> uh, seriously, people are pretty mean to these packages, so they've made the case sturdier and sturdier. The newest version has a much sturdier outer casing, whereas the first two versions were made of 3D printed parts. This version has a Cybertruck aesthetic, uh, it looks metallic, uh, which could be a spray painted plastic, but I'm pretty sure it's machined aluminum. Machined aluminum is what they use on the MacBook enclosures or like a custom car engine. You can make a lot of stuff out of aluminum. The Cybertruck from Tesla is actually made of an ultra hard 30X cold rolled stainless steel. It's the same material that's used in the SpaceX Starship. Pretty sure that's not being used because one, stainless steel would be magnetic, so the rod magnet mechanism wouldn't work. And two, thinking about the antennas, you've got four cell phones in there that need to send out a signal and you've also got their custom board with GPS and its own cell signal. So if that thing was stainless steel, no signals would get in and out and it'd be really hard to get any of their footage. And all of that antenna blocking would be worse than the iPhone 4 antenna gate fiasco. If you need a refresher on the iPhone 4, if you held it in your left hand, you shorted the antenna and it would drop phone calls. Also, this shot of the scratched enclosure makes me pretty sure it's made of metal. The benefit of this outer metal casing is that people can abuse this thing. They can throw it around wherever they want and they'll generally get this back with all the parts functioning. There was one joyriding party that destroyed the package entirely, but you can't win them all. Overall, durability is really good. Uh, I like the handle and the design is really robust, but I'm not quite sure about the glue on the handle. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me, particularly if you're trying to get them to toss the thing out. Maybe some kind of dye on the handle so that for 24 hours they would have a stain and everyone know they stole something. I'm not really sure. That seems a little far-fetched as well. Next we got the packaging, which really matters. The first version of this was a HomePod, which was very likely to get stolen off a porch at a $300 retail value. The current design 
features some Bose headphones, uh, but it also talks about the Buzz collection, which includes the Buzz Buds, both of which are fictional, relating to the Home Alone character Buzz. There are a bunch of Home Alone references all over the package, which I guess, if someone stopped to read, might have discouraged them from stealing this, but while in a retail setting, the package is the entire advertisement for a product, if you're stealing something off a porch, I guess you don't pay that much attention beyond the big brand logo on there. Overall, I'd say it's a pretty successful product and package. Turns out the guy that designed parts of the Mars rover understands design requirements, and they did a good job leveraging existing hardware to use the camera technology in cell phones. I would have liked to see maybe some kind of prompt for self-reflection, um, a reminder that the thief did a bad thing, or even just shaming them by saying, hey, if you'd return this package, you could have gotten $100. As far as who is the glitter bomb really for, uh, there are a bunch of stakeholders involved in this project and it gets pretty complicated. So I decided to go ahead and, and map it all out on a uh, two by two matrix. Just like toys, you can think about how they're marketed and advertised to children, but ultimately the children convince the parents to buy the product. So it's some indirect marketing and here the product is made for a very large number of different stakeholders. So here's a matrix analysis of the different people that are involved. So I've got a scale from pleasure to pain and active to passive. So there are four quadrants on here. Mark clearly had a fun time and did a lot of work. The porch volunteers had a pretty easy life. And then the good Samaritans that returned packages were active, but then also rewarded. The thief was definitely active and punished. And then the viewer were up here as well in the delighted but relatively passive participant section. I'd also say maybe Amazon fits in there because with 32 million views, hopefully some people have been discouraged from stealing packages and so it's easier for them to deliver. Maybe Bose could go on there, I'm not sure. Overall, a pretty great product. Uh, I really enjoyed it and I'm curious to see if there'll be a fourth version. Particularly after all the success, maybe no one's stealing packages anymore, but I kind of doubt it. If you got one thing out of this video, please hit that like button and feel free to add any comments below. Subscribe for more videos. Thank you.